Hi everyone, my name is Amita Nathwani and I practice Ayurvedic medicine. So we all know the value of eating well and the benefits it has on our overall health. But the big question I get from many of my patients is, where do I begin? What do I do to start this process of eating healthier? And so some of the key ingredients that we use in Ayurveda can really help you get that uh, process started. And one of the key ingredients that we talk about that has multiple health benefits is ginger. So what I want to do today is show you a little technique on how you can incorporate ginger into your life and keep it ready and available to cook anytime you want to. Now people ask, is ginger right for everyone? It's not right for all people. Those who have irritation in the esophageal area, ulcers, or simply those who don't like the taste of ginger, it's obviously not the right thing for you. However, it does have other really fantastic benefits. It can be a, a really nice digestive without creating too much heat in the digestive system. This is why a lot of times after dinner, ginger tea is drank, or you can add it to your food to create more of a light consistency. Um, oftentimes ginger is recommended for nausea and it really helps to calm the digestive system. And even though at the taste it might be a little pungent, um, when it actually hits the epigastric region in Ayurveda, we call that vipak. And that area actually produces a more neutral or sweet uh, consistency in the digestion. So it can soothe the digestion and also create a nice stimulating effect uh, to digest your food. So oftentimes what I'll recommend doing is create your life so that everything can be a lot easier for you and you can access some of these really great nutritive herbs and spices that you can incorporate into your Ayurvedic diet. And so what I'd like to show you today is a really simple thing that you can do where you take your ginger and you can just grate it and flatten it and put it in the freezer. Um, in olden times, we used to make everything from scratch and your ginger would be grated right there on the spot. And if you have the time to do that, this process is not necessary for you. But if you would like to have these things handy and be able to use them so that you can just make them part of your meal, these are some of the great techniques that actually my mother taught me that we can do. So I like to actually choose either the smallest or the medium size great so that then you can really get fine pieces and you can just cut them off after they've been in the freezer for some time. Should you just grate ginger just like this? So I've washed it and the skin is still on there. The skin is actually really nutritive. However, in Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine as well, we talk about how the skin is actually kind of heating. So if you have any inflammatory disorders, um, it's recommended that you not have the skin and you just peel it off. So once you've been able to grate some of this ginger, you'll find that it's really, really nice and fresh and wet. And this is the point at which you can flatten it out I like to use a Ziploc. If there's something else that you prefer that doesn't create too much water in the freezer, something that you can seal it in, um, snap it shut, store it in the freezer, and then you can have it regularly. If this process also seems a little difficult for you, do not be afraid to use a food processor. Thanks for joining me today. And you can do this technique with not only ginger, but I also do it with my green chilies and they're available to me at all times when I want to cook a stir fry or just pop something into my, my dolls, my soup, some of my dishes, just to create a little extra heat, especially as we move into the winter season.